something that really bothered me is just like women will sit here and like lie to their kids and shit like don't lie to your child about who your who that child daddy is yes that's what i'm talking about you know a lot of women will sit here and you know be ashamed of the decisions they made and will believe that they're moving on by just as I say, sweeping sweeping it under the rug. Like, don't sweep it under the rug that one crazy night or maybe two. However you was when you was young, you need to admit to it. I mean, admit to it as soon as, just like your child is learning their ABCs and they one, two, threes, they need to be learning that your ass was a little disheveled, that you was a little, a little, a little hoe. I mean, I don't know how else to say it, but you need to do it now. You need to do it when that baby little. You need to tell that baby, look, look, baby, you know, you know, your mama, you know, your uncle could have been your daddy. All type of shit. You need y'all bitches need to go ahead and do that. Let me tell you why. You feel me? God forbid anything happen to, you know, your children's father or anything, you know. Uh the children are going to be here and the children are going to have questions and the children are going to want to know hey do I got any brothers do I got any sisters or anything and they probably do maybe have a brother or they probably do maybe got a sister but do you count it because it's from the alias and like not from the real like it's, it's like it's confusing I know it sounds confusing because I'm confused you know um I'm I suppose I'm supposed to have a brother for some reason right I'm supposed to have a brother but you know I'm a woman now so I understand how women and politics and all of that could be now that I, I didn't went through all of that drama and stuff um, and but um, you know the crazy part about it is it's just like when do you t tell the truth when do you cuz I feel like if I have a if you supposed to be my brother then I want to be around you and you need to be around me and you need to be with your nieces and your nephews and you know like and I just feel like uh you know bloodline so strong that you know that you know hey this is my bloodline you feel me because the character what the, the, you know the way you you act and you you think and you know you guys have similarities um it just bothers me because you know like I feel like I'm the only child like I said I'm supposed to have a brother but um hey I'm gonna keep it all the way G you know my dad is unhere he's not here to represent himself and you know women being women and you know him being young when he passed he's not here to represent himself but me I'm his child you feel me that's my daddy you know he left me here for sure and like I said I'm supposed to have a brother and um, he don't be really reaching out and I didn't reach out and basically he stopped talking to me ever since I asked him for the blood test and I told him like straight up like look you know we're supposed to be like relatives or something like that but you know I heard some things about your mama and the last thing he told me was I don't like all this whole shit that I'm hearing about. I'm going to have to talk to my mama and call you back. And I never received the call back. And is it because, like, you know, I just feel like, you know, let me have my, let me have my father. Let me have him. I couldn't have him, you know, while he was living. Let me have him at death. Why are you still trying to sit here and act like, you know, and 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 all it only thing it is is a DNA test real quick to swab it up real quick and let's just see if we relate it. You know, make me feel good. You know, do it for him. You think that's your father? Do it for him, you know? And for the you know, the parents behind it is just like, hey, if you had a nigga and you had a boyfriend and you was out doing what you was doing, that's what you was doing. Don't sit here and try to act, you know, like, oh, we have such a good relationship and da 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 da. And I'm not just talking about with my situation, I'm talking about with everybody's situation. You know, when you're dealing with somebody, what you mean to that person? You know, if you're dealing with this woman and she has a, a real man, a husband at home, you know, you de you know you're dealing with this, this boy or whatever, and he got a girlfriend and, you know, he got a little family and. You know, there's women out there that like to be home wreckers in. There's men out there that like to be home wreckers in. You know, when they say home wrecker, you gotta look very broad. You gotta look, you know, at the whole thing. Home wreckers, you know. 
who who is who consists of the home? Who are you wrecking? You know, you wrecking that child. You met, you know, that's why I, I, I'm talking. That's that's why I'm talking. I'm no longer a child. I'm fresh from being a child. You know, so I know. You know, I know the, the transition and the levels and the mentality in. You know, coming. You know, coming from that and now having a voice, I'm able to say what I want. You know, I'm able to, you know, I'm able to buy a martini and a Corona. I'm able to buy liquor and all of that. You know, I'm, I'm grown, man. I have kids and everything. You know, don't nobody owe nobody nothing but the truth. Like, damn. And with my situation, I just had to speak on this at night because it's just like, you know, the boy, we ain't got the same last name. I don't think me and the boy really look alike, you know. And it's just like... Me, why wouldn't you want to be in touch with your sister? If I was your sister, I'm pretty sure, you know, we'll be cool and we'll be, you know, chilling all the time. You know, I got, and then on top of that, you know, our, our, the parent is deceased. Wouldn't you want to be and come together, you know, for, you know, that parent and, and, and you know, and join in that legacy of, of what, what's supposed to be, you know, left on, you know, like, damn, like, is that common sense? Or I don't know. Or is that just like old fashioned? Um, I ain't trying to hurt nobody feelings. You know, I just want some clarity. You know, everybody wants clarity. I'm pretty sure, you know, people feel some type of way too. They probably want to get up on a on a YouTube and make a channel now and come for me. Hey, that's cool. We can talk about it together. But you know, my bottom line is just that know your position, know what you plan, you know, and be honest with yourself. Be honest with your children, you know, because you know the, the things that you do and, and, and the lifestyle that you you know you, you carry and you have around them, you know, they're gonna they're gonna believe in that and they're gonna grow up and and hopefully it's not a lie because it can't affect them in the way they and their outlook on life and you know th their relationships with people you know um yeah and, and and that could be you know that could be a sad thing you know you don't want nobody to feel at outcast or not even feel comfortable to be able to speak and you know like i said it starts it all starts you know with you know with us the parents you know and, and, and you got to knowledge yourself on that i've been through enough to know what i don't want to deal with especially with my children so you know i love them i tell them i love them all the time i'm there for them i support them you know uh yeah you know i i am i i hey I'm number one, just bottom line, I don't got no complaints there in the, in the parenting area uh, with my children, you know, they love me and all of that, you know, they got the same father, I'm not no, it ain't no second, oh, I might think he the baby daddy, nah, it's none of that, you know, I was was not nobody's side chick or nothing like that, you know, I was, a, I was in a serious relationship, so you gotta, you know, now that I have women my age and they're not raising their children, and their children, you know, are looking like, hey, Am I missing something? Yeah, you missing something. You missing the fact that, you know, your mama got her so hard because, you know, she, she a hoe and that's what she wanted. You know, she knew that she was a side piece or whatever, you know, she should have protected herself or whatever it may have been. But I just, you know, people need to, it all goes in the circle. Like I said, everything's going to eventually connect. You know, be responsible for the energy that you carry. You feel me? Don't, don't be so fucked up with your decisions in your past did you let it fall to the next generation the next generation clean this shit up you know your your ass is not in a hot seat anymore so you know what do you have to lose you don't have nothing to lose do you feel me especially with this whole uh new with this artist you know this i don't know how to say it just broken homes and misplaced fathers and mothers and he playing his father and that ain't you ain't even told him that that ain't even his baby and you pregnant by this dude like how are you i just don't like that i just don't like how women they just so easy to just 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 give your your whole mm, your whole just excuse your whole muffin you know and everything that the muffin consists of just give it up you just give it you know you can't i'm sorry yeah and uh, you know sometimes i get mad at myself because i am a loyal person and my loyalty has hurt myself you know me i've been loyal to the wrong people and it hurt me but you know at the end of the day you know i am making the decisions for myself that i will have to live with you know and i know that i you know i don't want to i don't want to 
bring no more damage to this, you know, broken society. I want to bring strong people and I have to be strong. So I have to at least be able to hold my weight. Lacey and Lamar, my son and my daughter, that is my weight. And I'm holding them and I have them above water and I'm structuring them. And, you know, I try my hardest to not keep no secrets from them. You know, they're smart, you know, uh, and, you know, we talk about it. But, you know, bottom line is, you know, ladies, <sighs> I'm sick of seeing ladies being pregnant by the homie you know like stop bitch you are a hoe you're gonna eventually have to raise that man and tell him you know hey i was a hoe or you're gonna have to tell your daughter like how could you tell your daughter that you was a hoe please make better decisions ladies please make better decisions because your children are watching and you know they're gonna grow up and then they're gonna they're gonna have questions for your ass and hopefully you give them the right answers that they need and that's all i have for tonight and I hope I touched somebody and I, I made somebody be more responsible and make more responsible decisions. Use protections, use condoms, you know, use condoms. Stop making broken families and broken promises and breaking families and things like that. You know, be 100. Keep it 100 to yourself. Know your worth. And, um, uh, Everything will be all right, you know, but tell me how y'all feel about DNA tests. How y'all feel about DNA testing and all of that? So um, share and discuss and then I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good night